really no such thing as a new idea, just a new application of an old one. Please listen to the whole story before you make a decision. History shows us there are no such things as a new idea, we just made a new application of the old one. Many people are so quick to criticize Bitcoin and other cryptographic currencies such as Litecoin, Dashcoin, Dogecoin, as well as others. Did you know that this truly revolutionary invention was actually based on an idea that was created in the mid-1700s? Cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin may be a revolutionized invention, however its roots can truly be traced to a real time in history where this idea actually was the reason why the original colonies were flourishing before the Revolutionary War. That is correct. The colonists actually printed their own interest-free money known as colonial scripts with no interest and the colonies flourished. People that ridicule Bitcoin may not be smart at all, because it worked for the colonists and it was done before. The problem was it was printed which made things bad. I am going to cite quotes from an article that recorded this historical fact and I will leave it in the description below. The article states, and I quote, Since the creation of the Bank of England, they had suffered four costly wars and the total debt now stood at pound 140 million, which in those days was a lot of money. In order to make their interest payments to the bank, the British government set about a program to try to raise revenue from their American colonies, largely through an extensive program of taxation. There was a shortage of material for minting coins in the colonies, so they began to print their own paper money, which they called colonial script. This provided a very successful means of exchange and also gave the colonies a sense of identity. Colonial script was money provided to help the exchange of goods. It was debt free paper money not backed by gold or silver. When Benjamin Franklin had a visit to the Bank of England, they were curious as to how in the world could the colonies actually have this much wealth. So they asked Benjamin Franklin himself, to which he said, that is simple. In the colonies we issue our own money. It is called colonial script. We issue it in proper proportion to the demands of trade and industry to make the products pass easily from the producers to the consumers. In this manner, creating for ourselves our own paper money, we control its purchasing power, and we have no interest to pay to no one. You can already know what these criminal bankers did then. They returned to England and lobbied for the Currency Act of 1764. This made printing of any money illegal and the colonies were forced to pay a huge tax with gold and silver. Now I want to let you hear what Benjamin Franklin said. In one year, the conditions were so reversed that the era of prosperity ended and a depression set in to such an extent that the streets of the colonies were filled with unemployed. The colonies would gladly have borne the little tax on tea and other matters had it not been that England took away from the colonies their money, which created unemployment and dissatisfaction. The inability of the colonists to get power to issue their own money permanently out of the hands of George Roman III and the international bankers was the prime reason for the Revolutionary War. The Founding Fathers saw that the people's money was flourishing the economy, so here is the question. If the Founding Fathers used this same idea, are the banks, government, and anti-Bitcoin people actually in your best interest?